I've invented a science joke. Would you like to hear it? Sure. How many Edisons does it take to screw in a light bulb? How many? Who cares? He stole the idea and doesn't deserve his own joke. Is that really true? Of course. That's how you know it's a good joke. It not only entertains, it informs. <laughs> Hey, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, Barry, uh, how many Edisons does it take to screw in a light bulb? Did you know Edison didn't actually invent the light bulb? <laughs> what do you want, Barry? <laughs> Just wanted to drop this off as a little thank you for Amy. Well, what's this for? Your idea really helped me out. My white cone quantization paper's online already. The response has been amazing. Well, that's fascinating. I can't wait to read it. Yo, no, me as well. Uh, please email it to Sheldon at bazinga.biz. <laughs> Why dot biz? Because I just gave you the business. <laughs> and also bazinga.com was taken. Anyway, thanks again. Koopa, suck eggs. <laughs> Since when do you help out Barry Kripke? Well, I've been thinking about a cellular automata approach to neuronal connectivity, and I thought it might have some interesting applications to string theory. It's not a big deal. Oh, really? But when I was doing string theory and hit a dead end, why didn't you try to help me? I did. You said the only math biologists know is if you have three frogs and one hops away, that leaves two frogs. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That does sound like me. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that you should be standing on street corners, handing out your math to whatever guy comes along. <laughs> Sheldon, we're all scientists. I helped out a fellow colleague. You're being petty. I'm being petty? You know Barry and I have a professional rivalry. You heard him. He told me to suck eggs. You know, if we were friends, he would have suggested I suck something more pleasant. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Did you learn something?